Dougie Back to the block, Snoop Doggy Dog Funky as the the, the doc Went solo on that ass, but it's still the same Long with the pound like every day and i'm right back up in you with dr dre and like i said none of y'all can get with this and none of y'all can get with that and i just dropped because you know it don't stop mr 187 on the undercover cop tick tock now by the clock just some nuts in the cop rob you for your hands then i kill you black clocks then i step through the fog and i creep through the small because i'm snoop doggy 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 oh. Why? Cause doggies on the gang, my bank goes on swole I'm still on hit legit, now I'm on parole Stroke, with the dog pound right behind me And rolling with my, that's where you might find me Flinging that, flinging that cheap thing She want the G with the biggest sack And who's that? He is I and I am him Slim with the tilted brim What's your name,
1994 graduation exercises of Somerville High School. <laughs> Introducing the class officers, President Janelle Kiley, Vice President Yolanda Ortiz, Secretary Paula Machado, and Treasurer Kerry Wells. We are going to alter our program, so follow us carefully. We will begin by singing the national anthem. Mr. Lonegan, want to help us? Jeffrey Turner. 
The class wants to go on. We will go on. I guess that's the spirit. faculty, and honored guests and graduates of 1994, welcome. We are the class of 1994 and stand before you on this graduation day, not as individuals, but as together as one. As the world high school closes yet another chapter in its history, so will we in our lives. We should glance at the past four years with the fondest of memories. For most, those memories are the friendships and experiences started on that first day when the five elementary school graduates first merged together. For others, the trip might have been farther away from other cities or foreign countries, bringing with them different cultures, adding a new diversity and richness to our school. But feelings changed, situations happened, and hopefully lessons were learned. We are not the same people leaving the school that once entered four years ago. These formative years have shaped us to what we are today the young men and women that are the representatives to the future. Like everything else in life that marks an end, today also marks a new beginning. The end to our schoolwork is only the end of our training. The true test, whether or not we use this knowledge or not, is still to come. Any success that we might have ha had in later years will depend entirely upon ourselves and our initiatives and our efforts. We should mirror credit upon Summerville High School which has been our educator in our home for the past four years. We are, we are here at the same point to receive our diplomas, a fact that proves that we all have the intelligence to succeed, we all possess the ability to work, and we all have the will to be ambitious in all we do. We should never stop learning, and that goes beyond the classrooms and the walls of Summerville High School. For there are things that Summerville High could never teach us. Qualities within ourselves, like self-respect, dignity, compassion, respect for others, embracing each other's differences and rejecting intolerance. So let the tears be of joy and of hope as we part for the last time on our way to fulfilling our goals and our dreams. May we meet, to, may we meet the challenges of today and strive for excellence tomorrow, settling for nothing less than the best and enjoying the glory every step of the way. Congratulations, Class 1994. <laughs> Our, our class poet, Nella Asaro. Unforgettable memories. The time has come to say goodbye for us to throw our caps up high. Our freshman year is in the past, but let me tell you, it was a blast. We met new kids from different schools. Getting lost in the hallways was not cool. We came together and became good friends. We'll treasure these memories until the end. Our sophomore year, we had more confidence. We learned big words like infantile and exuberance. That year, our semi-formal was the big event. It left us nearly without a cent. Then junior year came, almost. We had some friends who did depart and whom will hold always in our hearts. Junior beach day and water country were full of fun. Water slides, wave pools, and deep tans from the sun. Our junior prom featured King Queen in their court. It was a truly regal evening, but all too short. This year, Christmas gave us our chance to sing the best line, five golden rings. Our senior prom was one final gathering. Graduation, of course, will be shattering. Through these years, we've stood together side by side because we're the class with some of our pride. But times 
to leave has almost arrived. We face many decisions, but will survive. Now that our senior year is almost done, a new phase of our life has just begun. Today, we walk out the store, the unforgettable class of 1994. Mark Bates, and the song that he wrote for this class, ironically, Our Place in the Sun. Okay, let's hope I don't get electrocuted out here. Yeah! It's all right, I'm gonna look Okay, well, um, I, I don't know. It's called Our Day in the Sun, so let's hope it comes out.
exaggerate. Well, that day has finally arrived. And although it is a time of great joy, it is also a time of anxious expectation and sadness. Each of us is preparing to enter a new phase in his or her life, a time of dramatic change, as we all are led toward our own unknown future, filled with untold joys and sorrows. Although our paths may not cross again, we have shared a very important part of our lives. As long as there is a breath left in our bodies, we will always be members of the Solo High School class of 1994. With these memories comes, with this comes memories of the last four years, memories which will last a lifetime. And for all those memories which we take with us, we leave just as many memories with others, leaving a legacy in all those we have met and an impression that will last a lifetime. We entered high school as children, filled with expectations and fears, hopes and dreams. None of us quite certain what we would become. We began as timid freshmen, hoping to find our place in high school society. And now we leave Sunville High School as adults, prepared to face the many challenges and obstacles life will present. Even though, even though old friends may grow apart and many of us will go our own separate ways, the memories of this day and the past four years will live on in each of us. Here today we stand and take our final bow as a class, accepting the diplomas we've worked so hard for. But for all the pride we feel in the accomplishments we've made thus far, there is a hint of sadness as we realize a chapter in our lives has finally come to an end. We shall move on toward our destinies, just as our predecessors have, and just as our successors will in the years to come. Our four years of hard work and determination have begun to bear fruit, and our goals are right to be realized. And the future is ours to enjoy. Each of us this here today fills with expectations for the future, hopes to be fulfilled, dreams to be realized, and challenges to be met. Let us not forget what we have shared as we forge our paths through life. Let us keep our pleasant memories of, of high school close to our hearts. Look forward to a, a bright future and not back to sadness at what has been. But most of all, remember our care for you as with fondness as we go forward into the real world. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Michelle. We'll bring this quickly to a close, but I do want to introduce the people who have stuck it out with you, knowing your exuberance. Members of the school committee, hold your applause. We'll get through it very quickly. I think we owe them a thank you, but save it for the end. Members of the school committee, the chair, Joseph Pavaloro from Ward 1, and Teresa Cardozo from Ward 2 is the vice chair. From Ward 3, Bruce Desmond could not be with us, there was an illness in the family. From Ward 5, Stanley M. Cody. From Ward 6, Julie D. Pasquale. From Ward 7, Anita Harris. The mayor of our city, Michael Lee Capuano. And the president of our board of aldermen, Grace Abruzio. From our own Central Office staff, our uh, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Albert F. Argenziano, and our Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Daniel Macero. From our own school, the Director of Vocational Education, Vincent Callahan, our uh, Vice Headmaster, Dr. Nancy Bodring, and somebody that's pretty special to you and representing here on stage today, all of the faculty members, your class advisor, Mrs. Frances Gayron. They want silk.
ending. Let's do the school song. Mr. Lonegan, want to help us? Are you ready?
She told me it would happen when I was much older. I wish it would have happened then. This 